sanding isn't isn't particularly fun. I started working on those hatches trying to get as many of them fared and ready for primer, while Axel decided to start sanding the cabins. These two spaces were next on our spray painting agenda and had to be prepared for top coat. In the meantime, Chris was helping with sanding and spot filling in the cockpit, so we make some progress there as well. It's not so rare that we change our plans on the go, trying to reprioritize and come up with the best plan for the day, depending on what we think the next activity should be and also depending how we feel. Although, I have to confess, I doubt there is any day when we actually feel like doing some sanding. But, well, sanding has to be done. So Axel went into the starboard cabin and I took the port one. He had already done some spot filling in there, so it was mainly sanding that was needed. In the cabin on the port side, on the other hand, we have the last coat of primer, so we had to fill in the imperfections identified first, followed by the all-glorious sanding, of course. Well now, what did the younger me become? I make some coffee and a plan and I decide on no and eggs. Blow my cares away. Ooh, prepares me for the things. Oh, 
have barely begun Moving as I am out through season no. Don't break no promises In the previous rounds of fairing that we had done on Vilda in the cabins, we never actually took the time to work on the steps, so they really hadn't been fared underneath. We don't really care so much about that part since it isn't really visible unless you really want to look at it from below. However, there were a few bits of fiberglass material sticking up and out and they are quite sharp and when it comes to cleaning we want to be able to wipe the surfaces without possible dust or dirt getting stuck here and there. So it was about time to pay some attention to those steps. In order to keep track of the sanded surfaces, Axel used a pencil and so, as soon as the pencil marks were disappearing off the walls, the room was getting completed. What would a week of uh, building will build up be without some uh, some sanding? <laughs> I've spared you some of it. <laughs> Quite a lot of it, you may see. We are painting the interior and uh, we're doing that in sections. We start with the corners of the boat. So this space, the space on the port side and the starboard aft cabin to start with. There's four corners on the boat, of course, but the port aft bathroom is uh, simply not ready for, for this sort of work. I have to install uh, some glue some foam in for mounting the toilet and things like that. So, so it's not ready. But the next step is doing our two cabins and uh, they are now in pretty good shape. They're sanded, filled, sanded, painted, sanded, filled, pan painted, uh, I don't know how many times, but uh, enough, uh, <laughs> enough times for sure. The last thing we've done now is send this down to 240 grit uh, with the machine. And uh, the paint we're using is not a high gloss. It is pretty glossy, uh, I think, but it's not a high gloss. And uh, we don't mind a bit of orange peel in the finish, so that'll hide some imperfections. So this is good enough. It is, again, not perfect. There will be little holes that we've missed and things like that. Uh, and we'll find more of them, I, I assume, once the paint's on. But this is what we're going with. There's one exception though. <laughs> A strange one perhaps, but uh, I'm gonna fare up under here a little bit. Not because I'm particularly fond of sanding or fairing. Not at all. This is not a good spot. This, this step is okay. But these are not gonna be nice. So I've sort of made the edge nice, which is pretty, you won't see much of any of it, but, but I haven't bothered making this section okay. And uh, for cleaning, it would be good if it is at least smooth, if not fair. 
So, I will do as I'm told and I'll fare, fare this a little bit, sand it down and call it done, call it a day. In particular, these two steps actually, because there's like a sharp edge. Um, but, no big deal. Just a little bit of extra fairing compound and extra sanding. There's, <laughs> there's plenty of that to go around. Yeah. So these two compartments will be mended in three days, Monday. So we will take the weekend to clean and then paint on Monday. And uh, then it will probably take another week, possibly two, before we paint the galley, salon, and the opposite uh, room, whatever you want to call that. It's probably going to be our workshop and office. So back to some filler and some sand. The following day we continued with more filling and more sanding in the cabin on the port side. We had to fill around the drains and a few more details here and there. For hand sanding we used many different blocks, some smaller than others, a couple of pipes for the rounded areas or anything that turned out to be helpful to us for finishing this never-ending job sooner rather than later. As for the filler, we are using a couple of brands of car body filler that is mixed with a hardener in small batches so that it doesn't go off and then it cures in about 20 minutes after the application, which means it is then ready for sanding. Sanding isn't, isn't particularly fun, <laughs> but in saying that, sanding this, it's so much easier than uh, sanding the entire hull previously, or the previous rounds of sanding on the interior. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty sweaty. And when you're Again, when you're this close to what you're working on, you find more imperfections than you thought there were. And uh, you just gotta let it go. Uh, otherwise, you'll never be in the water. So, my plan is to possibly vacuum here today. Otherwise, I'm beat. I need to go home, rest, and then uh, we'll come back tomorrow and mask and uh, clean and mask for paint on Monday, a couple of days, and then uh, almost, well, half the interior is painted. More than half of the interior would be painted by now. That's great. It's been a long time, but I remember it well Just like the 
photo we keep on the shelf. Oh, we were young. Oh, we were young. Now ten years have passed and we're still locked in time. I don't take for granted the years that go by. Started with a gaze. Here we remain. All of the moments collected in time. Perfectly bound like your hand fists in mine. Lucky to find what we're both looking for in this life. My heart is aching. But somehow in all the right places. Thanks for watching! We hope you like the new look of Vilda's interior! So do we! If you enjoyed this episode, remember to give us a like and leave a comment. We will be happy to reply. We also have a Patreon page called Building Vilda, so if you're interested in following the project more closely, finding out more about us and where we are in real time, please check out Building Vilda on Patreon. Thank you and we'd be happy to see you here next Sunday!